Hello, Uggies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. Today we're going to talk about a question from Rick Morato, NS3P. And uh, he has been um, getting back into ham radio after a hiatus of 35 years. And as Rick states here, uh, there's been a complete revolution in ham radio in 35 years. We've gone from uh, rigs that still have tubes in them now to all transistor everything. Uh, he says, can you tell me which transmitting modes do not require an internet connection? I'm interested in FT8, etc., and I'm willing to use a computer. He says he has an iMac desktop. But for some reason, having to use the computer to make contacts irks me. In a real emergency, I'll use a home generator, but don't want to depend upon an internet that may not exist. Actually, Rick, very few HF modes uh, need a connection to the internet. And uh, one of the modes is WinLink. WinLink or Pactor 3, uh, Pactor 4 is not legal in the U.S. yet because the baud rate is too high. Um, they actually communicate with a computer that does have uh, internet, but you don't need to have an internet connection on your end. Now, you can also use something like this up here. This is... Oh, where is it? Right here. This right here is a RigPi station server. And this right here can connect your radio to the Internet. Uh, it's a pretty sophisticated little device. It's built upon a Raspberry Pi with some uh, daughter boards for audio and stuff. That... This little thing allows you to connect your radio to the internet so you can operate it entirely over the internet from another location or some other spot in your house. Now, let's talk about the uh, HF bands that don't require an internet connection. We'll start with single sideband. Voice does not require any internet connection, single sideband or AM for that matter. Now, there is something called digital voice which you can uh, use with your computer, but that does not connect to the internet. Then we have, um, now you would use HF to connect to WinLink uh, for sending emails and stuff like that, uh, but you don't have to connect it to the internet at your location. In fact, during uh, the Hurricane Katrina, I think it was, I'm sure somebody will correct me if I'm wrong, a tall ship, meaning a ship with sails on it, uh, escaped Boston Harbor to try and avoid the damage that would be done to the ship if uh, the storm surge came into Boston Harbor. And they actually went out and got themselves badly caught in the middle of the storm. They were saved when they sent an email over Windlink to the Coast Guard. And that's how they finally were heard and got the help that they needed. The ship was lost but most of the crew was saved. It was a poor command decision to do that because human lives were at stake. Um, let's see, CW, you don't need an internet connection, though if you want, you can go uh, to reverse beacon and see how well your signal was heard. Uh, that's the use of the internet, but not directly involved with CW. Okay, FT8 does not involve the internet except the FT8 software can, you can turn this off, but it can send a report of your conditions and everything you heard to a central location where it's at Princeton where it's used for propagation studies. But you can turn that off and just use FT8. Similarly, PSK30, if PSK31, uh, in similar modes, do not need an internet connection. Radio teletype does not need an internet connection. Um, you can do all kinds of things on HF without using an internet connection. Now on VHF, 
On VHF, we have a similar story. Just using FM does not require uh, an internet connection and you can use repeaters that do not need an internet connection. However, via WinLink, you can do AM over the internet to some other connected repeater. DMR does not directly require a repeater. Uh, however, you can connect DMR, and this is the more usual way, to what's called a talk group. Think of it as a party line where a lot of people are on it around the world. Uh, these are all numbered and you can set them up and that requires the internet. But to talk to a local buddy on the repeater does not. You don't need the internet for that. Um, same with, uh, uh, let's see, it's uh, C4, I, C4, C for something. C for something. Let's look at the ad in here for Yesu. C4FM. Okay, this radio, the FTM300DR, works on C4FM. C4FM does not require an internet connection on your part if you go through a repeater. Again, there are a number of rooms that you can connect to. Think of them as party lines that you can talk to on that, and thus you're using the internet from the repeater to those. Now, if you use, oh, and of course the same thing is true of D-Star. This is an internet hotspot. This one happens to come from NextGen at nextgen.com -E or something very similar to that. You might look that up on Google, NextGen. Uh, this is a hotspot based on a Raspberry Pi uh, computer. You connect the internet or you can connect the internet over wireless like this. It's got a little bit of a screen right here so you can see what you're doing. Uh, this is a hotspot. So all you need is a simple transceiver. And then you use this to connect to the internet. This is a mode that definitely needs an internet connection right at your location. So um, if the internet goes down, this won't be uh, useful. Now let's talk about the internet going down. The internet was specifically designed uh, with redundancy so that it would be very resilient against enemy hostilities. You can bring down parts of the internet. One of the worst examples of that was when some uh, people got into one of the uh, underground vaults in the San Jose area near a railroad line and put uh, little thermite flash bombs by cables that were incredibly important to the internet in the Bay Area. Now, the problem, first of all, was that they had to know what they were doing. They had to know what those cables were, but that did take the internet down for a small area. There have been other internet failures uh, where the cables kind of come together in some sort of a nexus uh, that have taken major parts of the internet down. The internet as an entire thing has never been down and ideally will never go down. So if you don't have the internet where you are, somebody may have it where you can talk to. And this is how we use WinLink and so on. If we use WinLink with Pactor, it'll work with Pactor 1 if you want to. Uh, and a lot of people have Pactor 1. They may not know they have it, but they have it. Um, and they can send emails through uh, linking stations that do have the internet. So it's very versatile, as is the internet. The marriage between ham radio and the internet has been a philosophical minefield uh, because some people think it's not really ham radio, other people think it's a brilliant way to use ham radio, and so on. I'm kind of neutral on that issue. I like to use the radio link if I can, but I do have a nice little um, link device right here, a little uh, hotspot that I can use on uh, 440. So there you have it. Um, I'd like to point out if you'd like to support this channel financially, you may do so by going to dcastler.com support. 
and finding a way there that uh, works for you. I'd particularly look at Patreon. It's a way where you can become, or Patreon, you can become a patron of the station at patreon.com slash ke0og. Until we next meet, 73.